Are we rocket scientists? When you hear the word space age, you might find your mind transported back in time to the 1960s, picturing those old Cold War enemies, the US and the Soviets, squaring up to each other in their battle to be the first to go where no man went before. But now, in the 21st century, the space race is very much on again, and this time around, Northern Ireland is a player. You see, space, Space. Is big business. Space. Big business. By the year 2030, the total worldwide revenue generated by the space industry is due to be in the region of 400 billion pounds. The UK aims to capture 10% of that market. That's right, 40 billion quid. None too shabby. So how do we get a slice of that sweet action? Well, there are two sides to it, it's known as upstream and downstream. Upstream covers the technology used to launch rockets into space and designing and building satellite hardware by precision engineering companies. You might not know it, but we very much got our moon boot in the door on that front already. There are around 28 companies in Northern Ireland making satellites right now. This includes the European Space Propulsion Company in Belfast. This is a collaboration between NI company Talus and Aerojet Rocketdyne the US team behind the first and only interstellar propulsion system on the Voyager 1 spacecraft. At last check, Voyager was 11.7 billion miles from Earth, travelling at 38,000 miles per hour, and that's nearly 40 years after its launch. But the biggest driver for Northern Ireland is the downstream side of things, making use of this data that's sent back to us from satellites. This side of business has been dominated by sat-nav, TV broadcasting and telecommunications, but there are huge new benefits opening up to us. It's all about the application of the data. It could be in the world of precision agriculture, where farmers collect real-time data on the weather, soil and air quality, crop maturity to maximise their profits. They are trialling systems like this on farms in North Antrim right now or it could be used in urban planning to create smart cities that use the data to keep tabs on everything from flood monitoring to crime prevention and traffic control. From that unique vantage point high above the planet, space could hold the solution for so many of our problems. All we need is for some of our best young minds to take advantage of this new opportunity. And with the NI Space Office based in Armagh, and the fact that Northern Ireland is the only place in the UK to introduce a space science technology course into our schools, you could say that we're in a good space. There will always be naysayers who think that anything space related is a waste of time and money. But as Professor Stephen Hawking once said, to confine our attentions to terrestrial matters is to limit the human spirit. One thing that is certain is that every space voyage begins with talented technicians and engineers. For this next exciting voyage for Northern Ireland, it's time to find them.